Hey, we're back. One more match to go. Dylan Monte Cristo here with you. Chengdu Hunter is about to take on the San Francisco Shock. And uh, it's a bit of a David versus Goliath matchup, but the Hunters always entertaining to watch. And the Shock, obviously a very good team. Our stage two champions currently sitting at fourth place in the overall standings with a very good map differential. So if they do it today, they're going to jump right up to second. Yeah, I, I think most likely under most scenarios in which they win, yeah. uh, you know, they, they're going to be up there at number two. XL still undefeated, though, this yeah. stage. But quite a few maps for them to go just yet. So one of the things about the Chengdu Hunters that we've been watching all season long, and that's really cool about them, is their hero usage. Much more varied than a lot of the other teams in the league right now. A lot of Wrecking Ball, obviously, but also a lot of other heroes like Farah, Mercy, that we're starting to see incorporated more now, but Hunters were kind of doing it all along. These guys were the ones playing the crazy DPS comp since day one of the 2019 season. Uh, they've been uncompromising in their Wrecking Ball first style that we've seen so far. It has. Yeah netted them a few upset victories, but still difficult to play into the dominant 3-3 meta. It is, yep, but hey, they're entertaining, so thanks guys. Meanwhile, on the other side, Rascal has been one of the best flex support, DPS support playing heroes <laughs> in the league right now. He's playing a mean Brigida, plays a great uh, Baptiste as well, and we know that this guy has an excellent pocket Sombra too. He's very versatile, very accurate, very deadly, and uh, certainly one of the best assets that San Francisco has. I mean, look at his stats compared to the league average on Batiste. Uh, nearly doubling the league average damage for 10 minutes while simultaneously dealing more healing. He's basically well above the average in every major category. And what's more, when they play the Batiste 3-3 composition, San Francisco this stage has won over 75% of their team fights. So it's been a dominant comp for them. And when you have Rascal with that range, he can actually pluck out away some of the DPS on the other team, yeah. which is why Farah becomes a bit difficult, I think, to play into the shock if they're running the Batiste 3-3. Well, let's see what happens. And there's only one way to do that. Let's introduce our teams in this series. First off, give it up for the San Francisco shock. Here they come. I believe the city of San Francisco prefers to be known as either Frisco or the town. <laughs> there you go. That's I it. I think those are the two nicknames That's they it. prefer as a That's city. It. Right. But they've got a great Overwatch team, so hey, nothing to complain <laughs> about there. Finally, they've turned it around from last year. Yes. So this but that was the plan all along. Right? That was the plan yeah. all along. Exactly. Yeah. You pick up some of these players that are a little bit too young to compete in the league. You work on developing these guys, and they, man, they have done a great job. And make some aggressive trades in the offseason. Obviously, taking Rascal over there from the Dallas Fuel, picking up Stryker from the Boston Uprising. We haven't seen a lot of this season, but you know, he's he's still there, one of the best tracer players in the entire league. Funny enough, he is still around. Maybe we'll see him later on. Meanwhile. The other team in this series, the team still looking for some wins with their unique style. Let's hear it for the Chengdu Hunters. There it is, the man of the legend, Jin Mu. The Mu crew and the rest. <laughs> I'm sick with this. Mu crew and the rest of the Chengdu Hunters fans out there rooting for these guys to get a win today. And, you know, win or lose, this this is such a fun team to watch. Yeah, and they, they're sticking with Heimung and Yang Xiaolong, which has been their starting roster for most of this stage. We haven't yeah. seen Jichiren since the uh, disastrous Symmetra strat on Havana versus <laughs> the Vancouver Titans. Teleported himself right <laughs> onto the bench. <laughs> <laughs> He's been there ever since. <laughs> I guess so. Well, it's been rough. Let's take a look. Meanwhile, on the other side at Sinatra. Obviously, this guy is a big star for this team. There's the stats. I feel like if this was an anime, we'd have his blood type too. We don't have that. Well, so it's because Overwatch, Overwatch League, League is not an anime. Not an anime. Proof right there. Proof. No proof. blood type in the stats. Yeah. Exactly. What do you know? And also, when we look at Sinatra, he's definitely an MVP candidate right now. As we take a look at his stats on Zarya, 
versus the league average. As you saw, he was the leader in damage per 10 on Zarya in our first two stages. They play around this guy. He's also been flexing over to the Sombra at times. Uh, I'm not sure if the San Francisco Chalk are going to fully embrace the same style of Sombra play that we've seen from many of the other teams in the league. But they have their own flavor, like we talked about with the yeah. Batiste 3-3, so they might not have to. That's the thing, do you need to if you're the Chalk? And, and I'm not so sure you do. Let's take a look at our map set brought to you by Toyota. Ilios will be our first map for Control, then Volskaya, Assault map, Eichenwald for Hybrid, and finally Dorado will be our Escort map. And if we need it, of course, that fifth and final tiebreaker. But it really does come down to, you know, the Hunters. They've been playing DPS all along. Now we finally have a meta that kind of favors that kind of play. The Sombra meta has sort of unlocked all this uh, three DPS uh, comps. Otherwise, you've got the Sombra Doomfist. But like you mentioned, Shock seems to be one of the better teams at handling that. So we'll see what the Chunky Hunters have today as we get things started here on Helios. And it will be the Wrecking Ball. That looks like a bit of a 2-2-2 composition here coming in from the Chengdu Hunters with Elsa on the Diva. San Francisco Shock reacting with the Moira as well as the mobility from the Winston and yeah. having Sinatra come over onto the Sombra. And we've talked about this in our last match earlier today, Doa. The Sombra composition, when you run it, in the in the three two one, but you don't have a Zarya is good if they are running a multi DPS comp because they're a little bit squishier and don't have the same sustain as a three three. San Francisco Shock just walks in and take the point, but they lose Violet in the process, so it's going to be tough to hold on. Kill really low, but with super down. Yeah, I don't think that uh, Shock's going to be able to hold on to this one. We'll see. I mean, Kyo did die. There's Sinatra, though, and yeah, the Hunters should be able to retake. Didn't give up a lot of percentage in the process. Yeah, can't let your Moira die there to Jinmu right off the bat. So, point does flip over. Luckily for the Shock, they did manage to accrue that 17% before changing it. It's not uh, bad. Now the Shock going to be coming back in. So we're going to be running the same composition. They should be confident in their abilities. Young Xiao Long, though, got a lot of EMP charge yeah, off of that. Did. You see George Yeo been there flipping around and canceling that hack. Very fast 180. It's a close-up. If you hit that Sombra, it does cancel the hack, so you're okay there. Violet doing as much damage as you can to Kyo. That's a nice sleep dart. Meanwhile, and a super, and the Barrage comes in. Jinmu down, though. Moth manages to finish him off, and now the EMP from Young Xiao Long trying to give Shock, or rather the Hunters, another chance here. Chengdu still building up that control percent. Shock on the point right now, but they've got to contend with that minefield. Among meanwhile, does get knocked off the map by the whip shot from Rascal. So Shock, oh, killing Yang <laughs> Long. all right. No one really contesting this D.Va here, so uh, I mean, that I, might help. Yang Zhao Long just appearing right in the D.Va's crosshairs. <laughs> Elsa, uh, they're just going to stagger this out as long as they can. I got it. Amon coming by, picking up some shield before rolling out. And finally getting pooped off the edge of the map as the Hunters reset. Not bad, though, 57%. Yeah, but but San Francisco Shock, they only used a Coalescence. Well, that's the thing. I was about to say, look at that. Five ultimates in reserve here. If they can play it efficiently, they've got more than enough to hold to the end. Yeah, Chengdu, dry when it comes to ults right now. That nano boost, not the most useful with this composition. Maybe if you can get it in the air. In the air. They hit Jinmu as well with that. Off down, there goes Kyo, finished off by the orb from Violet. Super jumping back in again. Primal Rage activated. Got Elsa trapped in the corner. That's an easy D back in. The Hunters close, but not able to flip it. And yeah, yeah, that means Super just staying alive with the Primal Rage right there. They hold on to three of their ults still as Chengdu uses that Nano Boost onto Jinmu. Does help him generate the barrage, but otherwise not a lot to go on right now. Sinatra. Trying to just harass that back line, see if he can get the hack onto the D.Va. It's not successful, but... Getting a little bit more EMP charge, at least. Yeah, got about 20%. Yeah, so hiding the translocator behind the uh, shelf there. Could oh. buy Moth. Jinmu with a nice shot there, but Young Jalong down in the Sombra v. Sombra. Jinmu does have a barrage, though. Game-changing ultimate. Kyo got stunned a little bit there, and he's going to go down to San Francisco again, repelling the Hunters with... Relative ease, you gotta say. Yeah, I mean, the Hunters really have had trouble developing an ult bank, and even then, their ults are gonna be a bit weaker. Yang Zhao Long dying again before he can get that EMP. Sinatra gonna lap him. Yep, pretty much. Yang Zhao Long now has the EMP. It's now or never. He's gonna go ahead and use it, gets four people with it. Rascal takes him out, though. Now the EMP comes in again, and with the sound barrier that San Francisco had, they're in a great position to finish this one off. Rascal with yet another boop on Elsa to finish him off. Got the D-Mac there. 
Sinatra firing into the air, but you can't take the point with the Vara 2 off in the barrage. Unsuccessful, and that'll be round number one going into the shock as soon as they clean out the rest of the members of the Hunters, and they do. It's one point for the shock here on the Ilios. I think that starting point is really unfortunate that we saw Lighthouse because the Moira comps are just so good yeah. versus Farah because the point is tiny. Uh, so are the windows into the into the point itself. So if you're running multi DPS, it becomes very difficult because you can cover virtually the entire point with the Moira healing. Well, sure. Otherwise, you get that uh, biotic orb bouncing around in the room, just doing damage to everybody too. You build that coalescence so fast. Yeah, it's. I think it's really rough. Yeah. That said, we will see Chengdu return to their usual well strap, which is. The Orisa with Yang Xiaolong on the McCree. San Francisco Shock, there's a couple different ways you could play this. We saw earlier today the double sniper composition being effective at least at the start for the Valiant. Sure. But now, San Francisco Shock, they're going to the Batiste here. I like the Batiste because there's a lot of narrow corridors for the approach on this map, and you can cover that with the damage of the amplification, amplification matrix, rather. Also, you can do a good job of hiding that immortality field, so it's a bit harder to kill. So you can do some tricky stuff with Batiste on this point. See what they've got in mind. Trying to poke in onto the Hunters right now. Young Zhao Long a little bit exposed. Barely gets back and gets the heals in time. It's a close call there, but Jinmu kept him up. A lot of damage on the Choyobin actually right now. And the issue is, is that the range from this McGree is causing a lot of damage over to the barriers on the side of the San Francisco Shock, and they're having a lot of trouble the closing eye. this gap, but he's got the dead eye. How do you stay in the open ground now? They're waiting for a barrier. A Shock take the point anyway, though. I mean, at some point, the Hunters need to get on there, and Among was poked out so much that in the end, they couldn't even stand on the point. It was the Amp Matrix from yeah. Rascal. They were waiting for that, and that causes the additional damage yep. that they need to pick off Among and to destroy the barrier from the Orisa. So, very patient game for the Shock. You know that the Chengdu Hunters might use this strategy, and Shock are just gonna play in the neutral until they get the Amp Matrix, and then just win at range. Yeah, sometimes an ultimate in Overwatch is basically a button that says, make the enemy team go and hide for X <laughs> seconds. And that's really what Amplification Matrix is so on a map like this when you're trying to control the point and take it it's a great ult for just zoning you know yeah absolutely is sinatra sitting pretty with this graviton surge yang xiao long making the swap they want to play that sorry but they're playing it with an orisa i don't know about this one interesting yeah and the problem is you you are playing with amon here who is not the most traditional tank player that we have in the league not really See what he can do on this Orisa. Elsa oh, nice really, pass. really low here. Yeah, Sinatra may be in a little bit of trouble too on the other side. It's going to be the Immortality Field keeping people up right now. They finally take it out. And it's now the Hunters using that Supercharger to jump onto the Shock. The Shock do have the Sound Barrier though. Meanwhile, that Control Percent is still building. Super drops the Earth Shatter, but doesn't really hit a lot of members of the Hunter with... Oh, oh okay. Shoyo Bindo goes in, <laughs> gets three if you include the Diva Magnet. Why wouldn't you, man? That's 80% now for Shock, and once again, Choyo been kind of bailing him out. Not bad. Yeah, we're gonna check that one out again because he's wrapped around the side. Look at this. So there's no good choice here. What? The, the Chengdu <laughs> Hunters either walk into the Ant Matrix yep. that was set down by Rascal, or they walk into the self destruct. That's just a great play. That was great, man. Great teamwork from the Shock, forcing a really terrible decision from the Hunters. There was no way to win. That's kind of that's gonna play that makes the shock one of the best teams in the league right now. There's the or the immortality field behind the pillar to keep them alive during the grab. They're gonna try to hold on to this one. 99%. The shock on the verge. Come on, two owing this one in Jinmu into the pit he goes. Amon caught up in the graviton surge from Sinatra, and it's gonna be really hard for the hunters to turn this one around. Sinatra a bit low. He might die. No, he's killing just in time. Evil Tall with the Ooh. two eliminations, though, into the well. Yeah. So all of a sudden now, Shock fighting from a player down. Wrecking Ball back in right now as Among reemerges onto the points. It's a lot of damage. Oh, and Moff gets caught by the self destruct. So the Hunters are going to get a new lease on life here. Wow. Evil Tall. Barely. Let's with see that move. Clutch environmental kills right here. Oh, oh dude. Right from the top. And that, that turns it around. I mean, that keeps the Hunters in this map. Yeah. That's the type of play you need your Lucios to be making in Overwatch right now. Uh, San Francisco, though, they've got a couple of economy pushes before they 
really have to commit. They can also just stand here and poke forever. Yep. Super gonna run forward with the bubble. Bubble runs out though. Chengdu under speed boost away. Violet the down. engagement. Kyo finds a big pick in his NDZ. And Shock in a lot of trouble here, man. Losing a lot of uh, health on all this super. Goes in, goes to the big shatter. He gets three with it, but it's not enough. Yeah, probably didn't want to use the shatter there. Uh, probably not. Team was already heading back to base effectively. Uh, right. They're going to change over to the Winston. So you're just using it before they do make the swap. They're trying to get onto that back line now, knowing that Among or they're trying to bait Among in and then jump on top of him when he's in their back line, just providing the option to punish Among's aggressive positioning, either by going out of the supports or for doubling back onto him. Yeah, Violet nearly has that transcendence. So Shock with a good amount of ultimates coming into this one, really even anyway. Sinatra, grab, in response to the grab, coming in from Young Jao Long. Can't see what's going on, but there we go. Among gets two with the minefield. They were trapped in the tiny room in that grab, and there was nowhere to go. The Hunters turning this one around. There is no reason why the Shock has to use their ultimates on these last couple of pushes. They've been playing too aggressively, they've been playing fast and loose, and now Chengdu has a chance to take the point. They really do. I mean, it's gonna be tough for Shock to come back into this one. They're gonna have a rally from Rascal, but can anyone even Choi. get there? <laughs> they got their Choi bin. Okay, yeah, trying to back up a little bit, at least putting the pressure on, letting his team get back into the fight. No ult Rally. down for the Hunters, so Shock maybe have a chance, but Amon gonna no. shut down Sinatra. Rally still so. here for Rascal. Yep. Uh, Sinatra down, the Rally running out now. Super. No ultimate, couldn't build it in time. He's dead. Chengdu Hunters. Looks like they're gonna tie things up here on Ilios. Amon gets knocked out by Rascal, though. All right, Back. gets a kill with the minefield on the boss. It's a bit insane at the end, but the Hunters hold on. And we are going to round number three, I believe. Uh, he's and Atros here, he's standing in the transcendence, but they catch both of them in the Graviton. That should do it. Yeah, you need a lot more time than that to build up an EMP, and the Hunters equalize. I mean, they run it back, 100 to zero. Credit to the Hunters. Yeah. They make a lot of swaps off of the McCree comp, and Evil Tall, really the hero with that double environmental limb, and the Shock, they get sloppy. Yeah. Now that is a bull cut. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Straight across the forehead. That's right. Dogman, take note. <laughs> well, gotta hand it to the Hunters. They are alive in this map right now. We're going to Ruins to see who takes Ilios. I wonder what we're gonna see. Maybe just 3 3 from Shock, honestly. I mean, do you even need to run the Zombra? No, and the, the Hunters running the Wrecking Ball here, they are actually quite good at running Wrecking Ball, of course, on every map, but also, especially on this one, yeah. because the minefield, what the Hunters do is when they take the point, they play super aggressively, and they drop the mines and the narrow chokes that you have to go through to approach the point. Right. So it's actually quite a good Wrecking Ball point, and I really have always enjoyed this season, the way the Hunters have played on it. You've got so many different pillars and things like that to swing around down to, so you can be extra mobile here. Shock back in that hallway. Among tries to drop down onto him. Unsuccessful there. Now Shock getting onto the point right now. Hunters getting chased away. That's a lot of charge for Sinatra already. Good damage coming out from the Zarya. And yeah, the Hunters need to get some ground. And Buff gets hacked, but the percentage does start building for the Shock. You see, they're oh, going to start no. falling right now. Super going to take out the Zarya, though. Sin Sinatra's going to play aggro. Yeah, it doesn't look like Super's going to last too much longer, though. The Hunter's coming back in a big way here. Amon getting aggressive here. It's really on Sinatra to kind of hold on to this point. Choyo bin out of the mech right now. They got to get out of this one. Amon still here. Yep. Sinatra and Rascal, the only ones left standing. Rascal's going to get hacked and taken down. Pretty quick retake, actually, by the Hunters. Only 28% built up by the Shock. Problem is you just give the, that 3% over in a fight that you're eventually going to win anyway. And now Elsa, here we go. Minefield gonna come in with the EMP. Actually, whoa! Whoa, the grab came out just in time for the shock, but it doesn't help them. Sinatra goes down anyway. He grabbed right before the EMP hit, but with only the default attacks for the, the heroes, it's, uh, it's tough to win that fight anyway. Yeah, also the trance was there against yeah. the Graviton. Shock's still gonna come in with five ultimates though, so a lot of neutral fighting so far in this map yields a lot of ults for both sides. EMP no longer a concern, but here comes the minefield. Oh, man, and the Hunters love just sitting up here, 
on top of the temple and dropping down yeah. on people. Moth already going down and it's up to deal with. Here he comes again. There's the minefield, all right. They've got shock bottled up into there. Grab used by Yang Zhao Long. No kills under the shock. They have the transcendence. Now Moth still has the sound barrier as well as they approach the point. Super gets hacked. He can't use his Earth Shatter right now. This cop of the uh -oh. Hunters are running is fantastic for this point. You can see how much delay they can cause with EMP, with Graviton, with the Vinefield in these choke points. This is the point you do not want to face the Chengdu Hunters on. They started nope. on the best point for San Francisco, but we're ending here on the best point for Chengdu. Yeah, you can tell. Look at that, right back on the high ground again. It's incredibly annoying, and they've almost got another EMP. It is. What do you do? You can't stop this. Not without a sleep dart or a hack of your own or something like that. EMP online now for Elsa. Here we go. You get so much shields too when you drop down like that. There's the EMP. Pretty good on the shock, although the sound barrier comes through and super responds with the earth shatter. That set violent down anyway. The grab might be able to make the difference with the sound barrier for your Veltal, keeping the hunters standing. And now the shock in big trouble. Super hacked again. No shield means no avoiding that damage. And the hunters at 99%. Shock trying scrambling to turn it around, but they might drop this first map. Yeah, Sinatra down. Violet, Choyobin, helping the Shock cling to life on this one. I don't know, though. I mean, Shock, yeah, losing the D.Va, losing everybody else right now. Rascal falls in the minefield, and Super's Earth Shatter does deliver them the kill against Keo. And they don't have a lot of damage right now, and Super Shield is holding, so he's just gonna delay the point. Uh, Possibility they come in, Transcendence is here. Sinatra has come back on the Sombra. All right, Violet uses that Transcendence, though, and as soon as that's down, the damage is gonna start coming in. Super Shield has gotta be getting a little bit weaker here. Shocker coming back, they're gonna have a six versus five in favor of the Shock right now. I mean, Sinatra's got that Desperation Sombra, but the EMP comes in. Once more, onto Super, onto Choyobin. Amon gets hacked on the other side, but there's another grab coming in for Yang Zhao Long, and that's just a bit too much for the Shock to handle. They made it close, but in the end, it's gonna be the Hunters taking Ilios. Impressive first win by the Hunters there. Yeah. You can't help feel that Well was sort of given up by the Shock, but Chengdu just comes, comes out and dominates on Ruins. Great start for the Hunters. We'll see if the Shock can equalize when we come back. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. And by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. Welcome to Assist of the Week, presented by State Farm. The undefeated Vancouver Titans were trying to keep their perfect record intact against the Chengdu Hunters on Hollywood, defending the last stretch of the payload. When it looked like the Titans were losing the defense, Slime snuck behind the back line and booped three hunters directly into the path of Janus Diva Ult. The Chengdu Hunters coming out with a win in game at number one over the San Francisco Shock, Ilios is theirs. And some crucial plays 
at the end by the Hunters and some perhaps alt mismanagement by the Shock in that one, huh? I think you really have to take the Hunters seriously on Ruins. And so Shock, you know, by falling into the tie, heading into that point, and proved that it was gonna, they were going to make themselves pretty vulnerable there. I've always been impressed by the way they play around the terrain on that map, and Chengdu shows why they are so great at that point. It's pretty sick. We're going to Volskaya Industries next. It's going to be our assault map. And San Francisco, you, you'd imagine, would be able to equalize here and tie up this series, but you know, losing that first map, that does uh, shake teams a little bit. Probably not a team like San Francisco, <laughs> but, but some teams out there. And you see the shock now. They're just going to keep running the Batiste. I, I think this is definitely the play. It, it, with the way that Rascal deals damage on this hero, it does provide that long-range threat. You have the immortality field if you start to get poked and very low on the point. Yeah. It makes it super difficult for these DPS compositions to actually finish you off. Me on defense. I think this is going to become the norm going forward. I think the Shocker just ahead of the curve here. Batiste is just... He has that similar utility to Brigida, but he just has uh, it from a better range early on on defense. Yeah, and also just his ultimate. If you're, play healing, if, if you're playing a lot of lower HP heroes or without a lot of sustain, that Amp Matrix can quickly whittle down a 200 HP hero. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Meanwhile, Chungu Hunter is going for the DPS comp, as uh, you'd imagine. They're just looking for those picks. They can slowly whittle down the shock. And they got to get on the point. It does help that they're playing 2 2 2, so they have the Diva to pressure the point as well. Yep. But Sinatra, Troy Hyobin, just playing around the health back right now. Matrix covering Sinatra when he doesn't have that bubble cooldown for himself. And you can see they're just touching, taking little bits at a time. That's one tick taken. They're not letting the control meter go backwards at all, even when they step up. There's the amplification matrix. Oh, but Kyo gets a kill under Rascal. Troy Hyobin out of the mech as well. And Jinmu has the barrage just for insurance purposes, but he's gonna use it right now. Why not? Keeps everybody locked in there. And he's not gonna be using far on the next point anyway, so you no. might use it now. Might as well. As that's gonna be it, the shock. Looking shockingly vulnerable here in the first two maps. Very solid. And really? Okay, well, if anyone's gonna stick with the far, it's gonna be the Chungdu Hunters, in that case, I'm surprised they didn't save that barrage because it seemed inevitable to take point A, but they're going for it. Yeah, they, they are. They got that momentum, man. They got the Mercy Ultimate. The damage boost could be in big. They got the Transcendence as well. Among a little bit low. He gets a Mind Shield out and the Adaptive Shield just in time. Close call. Get back to his team, though. And Super's down. The Shock are vulnerable. They are, and they're coming back in once again. Transcendence has to be used yep. to save this point. EMP is online. As soon as the trance goes down, they're gonna try and use it, but they don't get any heck. It How in the anybody. world? How do you hit nobody with an EMP like that? Choyo Bin demacked anyway, but the grab comes in now. Choyo Bin down Sinatra, trying to turn this one around, and with a kill on Dekio from Violet, it looks like they have. But man, what a botched EMP from Yang Jialong. I, I, I can't believe that happened. I don't think I've ever seen an EMP hit nobody in the Overwatch League. So to San Francisco's credit, they did vacate the point because they knew the EMP was up. But at that point, Chengdu just has to pressure the point and force them to re-engage. They'd already yeah. taken two ticks. So you don't use the EMP there until they're attempting the retake. Oh, that's that's huge for the shock. Yeah, that's like that was an EMP equivalent of getting one of those emails that tells you like some prince somewhere wants to send you a million dollars, like, ha ha, delete. <laughs> Duel nobody. It's a barrage, and it comes in for a kill on the super. Jinmu down, Sinatra picks that one up. I don't know, self-destruct. No kills out of that one. Elsa gets his neck back, though. Oh, Moth dies on the barrier. Inside. That's right, Jinmu does get rezzed as well, so Hunter's back into it. Moth will have the sound barrier when he comes back, but then Spoiled Bin finding another one. Man, I mean, every time. <laughs> the Shock looked like they're going to lose the point. Choya Bin has a knack for coming in and getting those big self-destructs. The placement was perfect. He caught them around the corner. It looked like it was going straight up, but watch this. So he, put, he places it. Look at the placement. Oh, that is... Perfect. It doesn't get any more perfect than that. Nope. Evil Tell and Keo think they're definitely going to stay alive. It's just going straight up over the point. It isn't. It's going directly where they're trying to take cover. Yeah, San Francisco Shock playing Overwatch, but Choi Bin's over here uh, playing Bomberman 2 or something like that. <laughs> Fantastic self-destruct. No kidding. 
No support ults available right now. They know Yang Chao Long is getting close to another EMP. Yep. So the hiding of the supports begins. Sinatra dangerously low, but somehow still alive. Oh, well, for now anyway, gets pinned. Elsa finishes him off, and Yang Chao Long has the EMP. Goes Transcendence running out. There it is. Rascal's Rally. Not too helpful just yet. Sound Barrier comes in for San Francisco, though, and Kyo is down. So they're still in this one, but with no main tank, it's going to be kind of tricky. Only that one tick needed. Nice hack on the Choyo Bin. The no Reaper's worries out. There. Sinatra's here on the <laughs> Reaper trying to stall this point. They're going to try and grab him right now, but he won't die. Yeah, well, he's Finally. dead now. I mean, it's all a matter of stalling out. Abung has no help, but it doesn't matter. That's a take for the Chengdu Hunters. They get the job done. Bit of a hold for San Francisco, but still. Fairly decent time bank, I feel like at the end of the day. I'm looking at what it is. It's very good, it's about 340. Oh yeah, 338, not bad at all. Yeah, very good because of how fast right. point A went. So Chengdu coming out with a respectable time bank. Cool, well we're gonna flip sides, come back, see what Shaq can do on the attack. Coca-Cola is the official refreshment of the Overwatch League. are back on Volskaya Industries, the Chengdu Hunters, getting both points, 338 in the time bank for them. That is the bar that has been set. And we'll see if the shot can equalize. Oh yeah, that's right. New Jonex skin today. Very fun. sweet. It As is a sweet skin. It is, yeah. It's all uh, octopus-ish. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the technical <laughs> term. I think so. <laughs> I, uh, I am a scientist, yeah. I'm gonna get that one. I can see myself using it. My current Zenyatta skin is the uh, NYXL away skin. And it's carried me to vin many victories. Well, I hope the new one carries you to many more, duh. Well, thank you. I'm sure it will. <laughs> All right, quick check here from the shock. They are going to take a peek and see that it's Widow and Farah, and they immediately want to pivot to something a bit more mobile, capable of harassing those back lines. Yeah. And with a lot of survivability, Violet back onto the Moira. San Francisco Shock has been on Struggle Street so far, as Chengdu has looked impressive in the first two maps of this series. Young John Long putting a lot of big shots into the shield of Rascal. And, oh, that's a dangerous place for Moth to be. Violet as well decided to go after the Moira instead. I think he could have probably gotten the kill on the bot, but how about that? I'll, I think they'll take that. They'll and take that instead. Going. Sinatra, oh. though, going to get in the back line, and both supports now down yep. for the Chengdu Hunters, so that's going to oh. be it for them, unless Yang Zhao Long has a massive pop-off here. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's going to be pretty tough to expect something like that. Super down? Oh, that's something, anyway. Among oh. out of the way, though. Moth on a murdering spree. Yeah, <laughs> punching people out. <laughs> in bloodthirsty there. Oh, reload going to temporarily delay this, so they do get the healing down. Ooh, that's great. The D-Mech huge. Yeah. That is really important. Elsa has to either fling himself off the map right now 
Oh, and he's going to do it. Uh, I don't know about that. He might not spawn in time to get good positioning. Uh, he'll be back at like 622. Oh, he's going to have to use his boosters to get onto the point, though. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. Jinmu gets hacked as well. Well, they're just going to roll right in there with the EMP, it looks like. No, no, my bad. I messed that up. Okay. Not yet. EMP's coming now, though. Yeah, Sinatra's got it ready to go. There we go. Three people on the Hunters. EMP there. Now the Coalescence coming in. Trying to roast Elsa out of his back. That's going to work out. And a boost wasted onto Elsa during the T-Mac animation. Oh my gosh, that is not going to help at all. Choyobin tries to go for a little bit more, but the Shocker are looking like they've got it all locked up anyway. Oh. Uh, that, that Elsa T-Mac was so important. Well, the nano boost that was used on that. I almost never see something like that. Hey, Monk, just can't survive. There's no way to hold this one. And it's going to be an extremely good time for the San Francisco Shock. That's that, wow. Talk about fast, that momentum, and you gotta go back and wonder if uh, Elsa tossing himself off the edge there is what did it. They started that fight a little bit shorthanded, they I paid for it. I mean, there was no choice. Like, he didn't have time to go back to spawn. He had yes. to toss himself over the edge, but unfortunately, that DMEC really, really cost them because the shock got there so fast, and the D.Va wasn't in position. Time bank when we come back. Sports, you call it extra innings. In Overwatch, we call it time bank. <laughs> 5.35 on the clock for the San Francisco Shock. 3.38 for the Chengdu Hunters. Good amount of time for both teams here, but uh, definitely an edge going over to San Francisco right now. Well, Shock doubling down on the Batiste 3-3 on the defense. Wasn't successful, big pickoff on to Rascal the first time. Chengdu looking to repeat that success. Same composition here in their time bank round. Pointing the other way. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it should point to point A. That's the direction you're going. All right. We're taking a little bit of damage here. Yeah, you gotta worry about Rascal. Oh, you gotta worry more about Amon. He's already down. He's not finding the kill there, and Chunky Hunter's having to disengage. And you held tall. Take him down on the way out. Jinbu runs into a brick wall. And that's gonna take a little bit more time off the time bank. Same formation for the shock with Sinatra and Choi Hyobin in the bunker contesting the point while the other four members stay by the Mega Health Pack. This time goes much better though. And Zhao Long got virtually no charge because of how fast Amung died. Yeah. Now Shock were really ready to uh, DPS him down quickly. Sinatra down to 100 HP. Gets heals in the end. Tense moment for him though. Young Zhao Long really low. He's been able to not or not been able to get a lot of charge because they keep doing damage to him too whenever he shows his face. Kyo down, Sinatra with another one. Jinmu just doing the damage that he can, but Shock looking way more stable on the second defense than they did the first time around. I mean, I really like this defense for the Shock when you know they're coming in with a Farah. So you have all of your players under cover, right? Here on the side, you have Sinatra and Choi Shobin. You can alternate who's touching the point with bubbles. You can protect yourself with the Matrix. And you have the Batiste to fire AoE healing across the gap and into that bunker. It's so difficult to break. Yeah. Not even a tick, not even close to a tick taken by the Hunters yet. And they're down to two minutes remaining. Rascal down, though. That's something. 65. Transcendence are getting aggressive with the support ultimates. They can use it on the San Francisco side too, but there goes Moth Jinmu down as well. Gets nothing, but the barrage he does get uh, res, but now the grab comes in and Super and Sinatra down anyway. Had to use that EMP. It was a reactive EMP though, and because they had the healing coming in from Evil Tall's Valkyrie, it actually pushes them through the Graviton Surge, so Shock invests a lot. Rascal dies, but he dies with his Amp Matrix online. It's gonna make it much harder for the Chengdu Hunters to approach the point right now. Wow. And they don't have an easy way to take this. I'm just surprised that Yveltal got the res off and also kept his team healed up at the same time. That was uh, usually, if you're focusing on that res, your team can take a lot of damage. Worked out well for him. There's a hack though. 
comes in on to Amon. Gonna buy some time with this one. Amon dealing with that hack on the flank right now. Gonna come in and nice. super. He dies on the point. That's rough, Choyabin. Gonna get demeked here, and Rascal, they're gonna jump on him. Gets the immortality field down, but it's off the point right now. And Sinatra pushed all the way back, taking a lot of damage. He's nearly got that EMP, though. Can they get it? They can. Maybe with that transcendence, keep Sinatra alive long enough for the EMP to come in and hit everybody but Amok. Keo down immediately. Insta kill onto that. There's gonna be maybe the demeck for Elsa. Didn't quite pull it off. Violet down. Hunters with two ticks but not quite able to finish it yet. They have less than a minute, only 45 seconds to come back and do this. Yeah, so close, but can't quite get it. And they use the Valkyrie now. Yang Xiaolong coming in with an EMP, however. Violet switching over to the Tracer Yeah. to attempt to contest this point, get into that back line. There we go, right? EMP, really annoying to deal with. Yang Xiaolong. Oh, he up. hacked Choi Hyo, and he can't re -back. Nope. Oh, but luckily, Violet is super right there to follow up. Sound barriers, they clean up that fight, and if you're the Hunters now, it's pretty tough to think about taking this point. It's gonna be a struggle to even get back in time. Yang Xiaolong was focused on getting the hack off instead of the EMP, so his teammates die. He still has EMP, and there's only four seconds. They will make it there, maybe. Oh, oh they got there. Barely. EMP, did they get the barrage as well? We'll see, the minefield goes down. Amok down immediately. There's a the barrage. One, but only one for Jinmu. And Hunters still looking a little bit threatening here on the point. Now the EMP comes in on the Sinatra side of things. Yang Xiaolong down, super firing away. Elsa D. Magnet, a minefield of San Francisco's on the point now. And that should be it. Shock will hold the Hunters to just three points. Yeah, a little bit lucky there, you gotta say at the end. Chengdu coming ever so close. Two ticks on that final point. So still a good shot for them to win this if they have a solid defense. 75% of the point has been captured on B. Keep in mind too that the San Francisco Shock have about two minutes more in their time bank than the Hunters do. So you give that amount of time to a team like the Shock, a team that pretty much dominated their attack round a little bit earlier. And if I'm the Hunters, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a little bit, little bit concerned on this defense. Yeah, Assault also, you always get that extra 30 seconds from taking point A. That too, yeah. So they will have ready. In the end, if they are going to contest on point B, over six minutes in total. Yep. I, you know, I always say just get in one of the giant robots. i will solve all your problems really fast. <laughs> Everybody always uh, doesn't take your advice, Noah. The problem is, is that if you're not playing as Zarya, nobody can read the controls once you're in the robot. You can't Sombra so really hack, hack those giant robots, though, and make them move? In fact, she did in the cinematic she was introduced <laughs> in on this very map, so. You are right. <laughs> so really, it's just a Sombra failure. Yeah, Sombra, come on. Figure it out. Watch your own cinematic. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what you did. That's right. Watch your home videos sometimes. You have footage of you hacking one of those mechs yourself. Hacking the arm. So Here we go. People. Shock rolling out. Same composition. Yep. It'll be the monkey with Violet playing Moira. And getting everybody, everybody around the corner. Yep, Sinatra's on the opposite flank right now. He's gonna try and take out Ana. On the other side of the point. Yep. Lots of rockets coming in. A lot of damage on the shock, too. Yeah. It's a lot of cross around. A lot of old charge for Violet, though. Yep. Yeah, Jinbu getting a lot of charge towards the barrage at the same time here. Oh, Amok down. He was hacked on the point. Sinatra dropped down and hacked him. Well, that's the thing. When you only have that one tank, sometimes you get those angles. Yang Zhao Long down and. Chengdu Hunters are gonna have to give up this point A pretty quick, I think. Yeah, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna swap off? Jinmu at least nearly has a barrage. That might be the only tool available here for the Chengdu Hunters yeah. on their B defense. It's gonna be so much time, over five minutes now for the Shock to take this next point. Yep. And yeah, the only hope on the Hunters' side is that barrage from Jinmu. Sinatra already moving around the point right now. They're gonna try and play aggressively. Slow them up. Back cap happening. I mean, he's already putting pressure on right now. Jinmu ends up blowing himself up. As Shoyo Bin, I believe, got in his face and didn't let that barrage go anywhere. He had to take a risk, Doa. Yeah, it's all falling apart now. Rascal or a super rather falling asleep on the point, but that's okay. He'll take the point while he's sleeping. That's just fine. <laughs> Sinatra comes in. EMP 
It's the remaining members of the Hunters. You've all escapes it, but you can't stop the shock from winning the map. That's gonna be San Francisco tying things up as we go into halftime. Shock taking that map win, lowering Krusty's rage coming into their halftime discussions just a little bit. It's all about uh, lowering the Krusty rage bar, apparently. <laughs> well, Shock looking better, map number two. We'll see what they can put together after halftime. Don't go anywhere, guys. Overwatch League will be right back. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. Now connecting 99% of Overwatch League fans. Catch your league on America's network, T-Mobile. And by State Farm. Whatever life brings your way, State Farm is here to help life go right. Ladies and gentlemen, so far, this has been all kinds of exciting. The shot going up against the Chengdu Hunters. And once again, I'm keeping the score a secret. Why? Because we're back in the Blizzard Arena. It's time to play a very special game. Before we get to that, though, I have to introduce a special guest. We got Wolf joining us for halftime. Blizzard Arena, make some noise for Wolf. Yes. Now, Wolf, last week, we did something very special. We had a game called Guess What Happens Next. Today, Indeed. we're playing the game, and we need to find ourselves a contestant. Do you have anyone in mind here that we can play with? Uh, I don't know. There's a curly-headed kid here in the front row. Can we just, can we grab this, this young man? Excuse me, young man, can you come with me? <laughs> just stand up, follow me. Hi. <laughs> hi, hi. This is Wolf's hand. Hold on to Wolf's hand. All right. There. Hello. Facial awareness. Josh, you can take off your blindfold. First off, tell me, what is the score? Uh, two nil, two nil shock. Two nil shock, that is incorrect. It is 1-1. One, one. It's, it's time to find out how we got here. <laughs> our first play of the day. The Hunters had to win one map. Here's our first one. Let's load it up right now. We got Jinmu. We got Barrage ready. Let's pause it right here. Sleeping Monkey. Josh, what happens next? He absolutely destroys the Monkey and Violet uh, and Troy Obin as well. 3K. 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 Huge 3K. <laughs> Let's play it. <laughs> Sorry about None that. None of the time. above. <laughs> you baited me. You baited me. It's that was so good. It's Troy Hoban. Well done, Troy, on, <laughs> on the Diva. All right, you're up next, Wolf. All right, second play, we're going to have a setup here going into Super. He's in position here. He's got the shatter. What's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? He's bubbled. He's up at the front line. I'm pretty sure he's going to land a huge shatter here. Jinmu's already used his bash. Let's see what happens. This is going to be enormous. Let's see what happens here, Josh. Oh no, oh, Arisa not the Arisa. barrier. But we're not oh, done, Josh. The, the play's not end. done. It's not done. Troy Hoban. <laughs> Troy Hoban again. This is this just deep. a Troy Hoban highlight This reel? sneaky deep comes up with the 3K. Okay. All right, All right. All right. All right. we got another one here. I'm getting it, I'm feeling it now. Let's load this one up though, because we have a hit scan god. 
and YXL playing Sombra today. Let's take it to Volskaya for our next clip. Load it up. Oh, excuse me. We got to Sinatra. I almost left out Sinatra here. Pause this one right here. So we got Sinatra. You saw on the mini map there was five players. Yep. Sinatra versus five. Teammates coming to help him out. What happens next? Uh, I, I'm feeling a zero grab here. I'm feeling the zero man grab on this corner. Zero man grab? Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Let's play it out. <laughs> grab goes down. Oh, that's that a lot more than zero. <laughs> that is a lot more than zero. How could, oh, but they all get blown up. They, they all get the minefield. The Among Mines from inside that's the grab good. wins the fight for the Hunters. Hunters take game number one. That loads up Volskaya. Now it's time for YX. This on is the my Sombra. favorite one. So Yang Xiaolong's on the Sombra here. Now, if you look, you'll see Violet's already trance. Rascal's far away. Yang Xiaolong's getting set up for an EMP. What happens next? Trance is already out, mind you, the from trance Violet. Trance is already out. I mean, he, he EMPs and they win the fight. I don't know, Wolf. How is this your favorite? All right, here we go. He goes in, sets up the EMP, hits no one. How many the times left? No. He gets hit by the EMP, oh. hits zero members of the San Francisco Shock. Uh, Why was that your favorite, Wolf? Just because it was so tricky. That one back. The Shock ultimately better on defense and the attack put a lot of time in the bank and walk away with their first victory of the game. Last question for you, Josh. We got a tie. What happens next? Oh, the tie-in. Uh, I, I think having seen none of the games so far, I would still expect the San Francisco Shock to be able to handle this. Looked like they were slightly better on Volskaya. There you have it. Shock's going to take it all. Wolf, you agree with this, man? I think Shock will stabilize and take it all for sure. We'll have to see how this one officially plays out. We're live. It's the Overwatch League Game 3 coming up after this. I started watching some streams of the pros, and the pros were amazing. And one of the biggest guys I saw was awesome was, was Hydration. He was part of the Gladiators. Suddenly I'm at every game. and The beautiful LEDs, the cheers of the crowd. It shields up. It's, it's thunderous applause. It's roaring in the arena. It's a lot of clap, clap, stomp, stomp. You just kind of get sucked into it. And I've been hooked ever since. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to an epic match. It's all tied up. Chengdu Hunters versus San Francisco Shock. San Francisco took the second map, and I feel like they're getting a little bit more in form. But it's really crazy to see how the Hunters can throw, like, even the best teams off. Uh, there's no way to practice for them, right? 
They're really always isn't. they're always going to be running the wrecking ball. They're always going to be some doing something that no other team can do as well as them. So you can theory craft, you can try and play against it, but the reality is always different than your experience in scrims for sure. Pretty much. The hunters have made their own reality within this meta since day one of Overwatch League 2019. And when you play in a match against them, you are playing on their territory. No matter what the map is, no matter what the meta is, you are playing the Hunter's game. That you are. Uh, however, that last game didn't work out. I did enjoy seeing Sideshows. You can still beat that game. The, the Sideshows visible pain at the zero <laughs> person EMP. Yeah, I told you, man, during that match, I don't think I've ever I seen an EMP hit literally nobody in the Overwatch League. It, it's it's rare for sure. It's about time somebody came to pick up Baldrick's corpse. <laughs> Is that his like name? Bald <laughs> yeah, it's Baldrick. It's uh, Reinhardt's buddy. I, why did Reinhardt just leave him rotting there? For because years? he had to get all the like soldiers and stuff out of the town because the Omnics were uh, were winning and stuff. Look, I'm just saying that this is clearly could have gone back. This is clearly overgrown and therefore has been ruined for been quite some time. Reinhardt's maybe, very irresponsible. Maybe he forgot. Reinhardt has no respect for that. You know, sometimes characters just forget about major things, as we've learned <laughs> from uh, recent final seasons of popular TV shows. You know, sometimes characters just forget about you know, fleets and stuff. It happens. Iron fleets? Uh, iron fleets? Is any kind of fleet, really. I'm not being specific here, you know. I'm you know, just trying to give it with the Doomfist, actually. Going for the Doomfist Sombra, but adding the far in there, Jinwoo, already with a kill on the Violet. That is a problem for the San Francisco Shock. That said, Yveltal is down, so... See what happens here. I, I, I doubt it's going to be enough, though, unless they get another elimination, but they can't. Choi oh. Hyobin loses his life. Yep. Hello. I wish I could just punch really hard and fly through the air. Uh, what's stopping you? I mean, I can't punch hard enough yet. I got to work out. <laughs> Shock trying to cling to this point here. Super. Taking a lot of rocket hits. They got to keep him alive. They can't. Elsa with the finishing blow there, and Jinmu's got the barrage. I mean, if Shock ever show their face, eh, that'll happen. There you go. Point to illustrate it. Violet down again, and I gotta say, Shock has done a pretty good job of taking more time off the time bank than really any team should have a right to, but it's only a matter of time before the Hunters get the payload moving. And there it is. So yeah. point A now taken. Pretty quick there, San Francisco Shock. Now Violet, he's been dying first a lot, despite the fact that he can fade away. Jinmu. Has been able to find him on multiple occasions. San Francisco Shock now moving back yeah. to the Winston Sombra composition. I mean, think about Doomfist for a moment. He punches so hard that his arm literally pulls the rest of his body behind him. I mean, he has rocket boosters on his fist, just like Reinhardt has those rocket boosters on his back. It's impressive. <laughs> just saying. Why does he just keep punching really fast and fly through the air? <laughs> That's not how I want it. <laughs> Asking the important question. Uh, there you go. Oh, meteor strike. Coming down. And super in a little bit of trouble here. Hits him with the E, Young Jo Long. Really kind of popping off on the stupid. Now the EMP comes in, but the sounder there for shock on the defense. Mob gets caught by the barrage and don't shoot the doorway. Jinmu taking a little bit of damage, but he gets out, and Yang Jo Long actually gets a rocket punch onto Choyo Bin as well. That said, Shock coming back with a couple kills of their own. Yang Jo Long, Yveltal down, and they will start to hold. Do you think we're going to see any swaps? Uh, I don't know. Among on the Arisa is a bit interesting here. I think this is where you're going to make some changes. Yeah. Maybe they want to stay here for the Supercharger. You know, but yeah, I think you no. give it up and play the Reinhardt now. Yeah, it, the Supercharger is not worth it. Right. And basically, this composition, now that Chengdu has switched to 3-3, Shock is in a tough spot. They have the Moira, not ideal. And because you have to get so close, and that's exactly where the 3-3 composition wants to fight you, right? If you're trying to get that healing down, you are very vulnerable to a lot of the AoE damage, ultimates, or et cetera. AoE crowd control ultimates. There we go. Huge attack onto the Hunters. And Amon not surviving long at all. A lot of charge onto that Zarya shield there, courtesy of Sinatra, but they won the fight, so it's okay. You're gonna see a Ryan switch from Super. Yeah, Super just taking this opportunity to go yep. back. They don't want to get stuck on this. They would rather go to the 3-3 right now. Sinatra also going to make that transition. So you get the most out of the value out of the EMP that you can, but realize that it's better to reset your ult economy now. You may be wondering, why would the Shock do this as Choice Yeldon gets DMX and doesn't use doesn't really have an opportunity to use that self-destruct EMP coming in now, actually, for Chengdu. They could sweep this. Possibly. Super got knocked off the edge there. Jinmu with a big whip shot. 
That's huge. Wow, Sinatra down as well. They're not even gonna need the EMP. No, that is massive that they're not going to need the EMP. Not until the end of V at least. Yeah. It's gonna be one more fight at least. Moth actually delayed that. So That's he's the good. least important member. You could, in theory, take a 5v6. They can also delay with the self-destruct through the window, which yeah. I imagine is what we're going to see. Or they're gonna spling it through this door, but they've gotta use it to get space. Rally it. There it is, through the window. All right. Yep. And it's safe. Nobody caught by that one. Now the EMP comes in and Super doesn't stand a chance. I mean, when you try to defend in such an open area, you're going to get in with that EMP and you're not going to find this over in time. That's going to be point B taken with a solid time bank to work with here on C330. Yeah, they got, they got good value out of the self-destruct considering the circumstances. Super. Sure. Oh, man. Yeah, it looks like he was split spawn there, so yeah, he tries to reset himself. Shock, though, have been reeling throughout points B and C. They've never been able to get a full six player fight in in the last three or four team fights. Finally, now, they have a chance to stabilize and get on top of the ult economy game. Getting aggressive with that rally, but the shatter comes in onto Violet. They've got the grab as well. Choi have been caught up in that one. Super in a lot of trouble as well. The transcendence. Not ending up working out for him, and Hunters just crush the shock defense. That transcendence was used when it was obvious that the biotic grenade had already come in. Kyo just lands that one under the mob of San Francisco shock players. Violet did not need to use the trance right then. He's going to switch now. I mean, you need to make plays. You need the sleep dart. You need the grenade. Super goes for the shatter. That gets blocked. Now the grab comes in, but people have already been earth shattered and the EMP from Elsa on top of all of it. Super and Rascal down again. And Choyobin and Moth, the lone players from Shock for the moment on the point. Moth or Choyobin gets hacked immediately out of the mech. Sound barrier on a few members of Shock as they try to cling to it, but only a one, one meter to go, basically. I'm going to yeah, try and grab Super onto the car. Just hold him there. Does have the adaptive shields. He's still alive. Yeah, not for long. He's down, and that is it. 158 in the time bank. Oh, man. For the corpse of Baldrick, and they got it. <laughs> they got it, Good eventually. Job, yep. But, man, shock. They really were reeling on that entire defense. And a transcendent shutdown at the end. That was their good opportunity to stabilize, and they lost it. Keo comes in with the clutch bio and aid. Yeah, solid round for the Hunters. We'll see what Shock can do when it's their turn right after this. Coca Cola is the official refreshment of the Overwatch League. Meteor Strike. Heroes never die. Really strong round for the Chengdu Hunters on Eichenbaum attack. I'm not evacuating anyway. <laughs> the London versus San Francisco on Sunday. Guys, make sure to check that out. That's going to be a sick match. Watch it on Twitch, ESPN app, and Disney XD. It'll be pretty neat. And don't forget, that's right, Overwatch League on Twitch. Follow it. And if you turn on your notifications, you will never miss a match, not a single one, because your phone will yell at you and it will tell you to turn on the app and watch the Overwatch League. There you go.
And that's important because we're coming up on those stage playoffs, something you don't want to miss out on. You know, I don't like phone notifications, Monty, but the ones I'll make exceptions for <laughs> is the one that tells me amazing esports has happened. That's true. That's right. And look at this phone composition on the defense here. Elsa playing the Roadhog. So back to 2 2 2 for the Chengdu Hunters. And you know, right. Chengdu just played a really clean attack. They, they switched to standard grind 3 3. They took advantage of staggers. They snowballed beautifully. Whoa, here he Violet. comes. And right. there's an immortality field. Keeping him alive, and A-Bug actually the one to fall. They got drawn in. Super close call, but uh, they ended up keeping him alive. But now Rascal comes in with the kill on your belt all as well. Shock Chuck tearing we... through this classic defense. <laughs> yeah. Be careful when you're standing in front of the Roadhog, but still. They're pretty good. I like how aggressively they played with that immortality field. Yeah. Following up on that hook, keeping Violet alive and running down Among after the Chengdu Hunters committed. When we talk, talk about Rascal being the best Batista in the league, I mean, it's, it's things like that, you know? That split second reaction and the placement to drop the immortality field and keep your uh, teammate alive, especially one so fragile as Zenyatta, which will nearly always die instantly to that hook. The hook and then the body shot right after that. Certainly a fast reaction there by Rascal. Now some changes coming in for the Chengdu Hunters. Trying yep. to take advantage of that nano boost as we see Kyo Weibong. keeping Abong alive. He's trying to slow him down with a sleep dart. Does yeah. just a little bit. I mean, that's that's what you do, right? Oh, nano boost coming in. All right. Well, doesn't he doesn't seem like he feels powerful. Good walk forward. Decided to play it a little bit more safe. And they just didn't have the angle. Yep to walk up right there, and now... Oh, Young Jalong down, that's a, that's a problem. Immortality Field again, making a making a bit of a difference. As a shot keep pushing forward, but now we have a uh, pretty good bio grenade coming in out of Rascal and Super. Super down, and, <laughs> but that's not gonna help too much. Yeah. Wow, just, all right. Just trying to fall onto the payload there, maybe get a few more percent for Elsa as he drops down, firing away with that SMG. However, Super does get the Lucio taxi back to the payload. San Francisco ripping through I can fall. Oh, all right, there's the amplification matrix and the shatter from Super, setting up another team fight win, and the Shocker making an incredible time. Uh, they certainly are. That's fast. As they take point B, Chengdu have a clean attack. San Francisco responding with one so far, but now that EMP is coming up to the Hunters, and that's a nice shatter on Moth and Sinatra. It definitely is. Luckily, the Immortality Field comes in again to make sure that no kills result from that ultimate. Rascal really killing it with that ability, or reverse killing it. The opposite of killing it, in fact. Saving it. Saving it. <laughs> saving it. That's what's reverse killing it. Got it. Sinatra is down, though, and the Chengdu Hunters getting a little bit of stability now. I think reverse killing is technically what reversing <laughs> does with the resurrection. That's, that is true. Saving is not reverse killing. Resurrecting is reverse killing. <laughs> Immortality field is is uh, life sustaining. <laughs> yeah, Chengdu coming back with the EMP now. Rascal will make the swap to the Brigida. A necessity in these narrow corridors. Yeah. Running around Yang Zhao, Long Scraviton Surge. Violet not close to that trend, so Moth. So he'd have to play the hiding game and hope he can get his ultimate down in time. They're just going to go for it, actually. Wow. An aggressive sound barrier. Yeah, no kidding. They're going to drop the grab right on Chengdu as well. They've got their oh. ulti shot. How about that? What a shatter from Amung. Waits forward, gets five. Make it six. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Kyo killed Mini Diva, whatever. In my mind, that is a 6K from Amung. <laughs> Nobody can tell me different. Let's see that again. Yeah, the 3K fire strike. Well, they did grab each other very close together. Swing, swing, shatter. And then oh here we goodness. go, fire strike. That's the right heart dream right there. Now it's T-ball. You <laughs> see Amung even hit the high sensitivity of spinning there, that was sick. All right. Well, Shock's still with a lot of time in the time bank, though. It's a sick fight from the Hunters, but they have a lot of ground to make up here on the defense. Super goes in. Oh, hacked during the middle of his Earth Shatter animation, I believe. Nice he fight. It. Okay, I thought he lifted the hammer up, but it looks like not enough of it happened. He's got it again, oh! and that's a five-man ladder and a four-man <laughs> self-destruct. What is this point C right now? That might have been the fattest back-to-back -back shatter as we've seen in the Overwatch no League. No kidding. <laughs> wow. And now they slow roll. But well, Chengdu's going to switch probably to full stall here. Yeah. Moose to the Batiste. 
I don't think the Hunters expected that Shatter to be there. I, I think they thought that was uh, not around. Elsa down, Violet with a big pick to start that off. Immortality Field up for the Hunters. As Shock tries to push it forward, they've got that Transcendence, but nobody really killed the Immortality Field quickly. There's a Shatter coming in. <laughs> Namebug with another one. It's Reinhardt's Paradise right now. Well, it is Eichenwald, so <laughs> it makes sense. He's super hard on this map. Wow. So Elsa doesn't get that much of a charge. They will delay the baby diva. Furiously meleeing. I mean, uh, Reinhardt certainly has the lore buff right now. <laughs> Comes around the corner into a rocket powered hammer. It's, it's a rough end of things. Kyo switching back to Zenyatta now. Shock. Have another opportunity now. Looks like we're going to see about equivalent time banks. Maybe a little less for the shock. Chengdu Hunters. Oh, uh -oh. no. Elsa was so close to that EMP. That is, that is tough. And now a shatter from Super Jinmu. Not expecting that one. And Yveltal not get. Oh, he barely got away. Grab coming in now in favor of the shock. And the hunters still trying to delay as long as they can. Now the EMP hits three. Super gets a Zarya shielded Violet there with the transcendence. And nobody there to stop the payload. So the time banks into the at the end of all of it. Yeah, going to be uh, about equivalent. Even. Yeah, let's see what the shock in. I have to look at the other monitor here. 158 to 140. So just a 18 second lead for the Hunters. We'll see what they do with it when we come back. Time bank, 140 in the clock, or on the clock for San Francisco Shock. 158 for the Chengdu Hunters. So Shock will be attacking first. We'll see what they can get done with not a lot of time on a map like Eichenwald. It really comes down to point A a lot of times, doesn't it? Yeah, and, and Chengdu not gonna run the same defense that we saw with the Road Hog. San Francisco Shock wanna run the attack with Batiste, but Chengdu will know they're going for this this time, probably won't hard commit. And it's back to the Ana Sombra 3 2 1 here for Chengdu. This is a much more stable comp on defense, not as all in. So they think they can squeak out an advantage over time. And, you know, given how this match has gone so far, you can't blame them for believing that. Oh, yeah. You want to delay as long as you can. If the payload does get going on, I can call it the time bank too. It can be really tough to stop it if it gets through the start of B. Immortality field DPS down. Among them really low. They need to get some heals on that guy. Oh boy, he's backing away, giving some ground to the shock. It's a dangerous moment here. Fast amp matrix, but it always is from Rascal. No shock there. Two ticks taken already. Can they get back on the point? No, they can't! Among Yveltal down. They can't even get back there to delay it. Great start for the shock. Uh, that was masterfully played by the shock. You can see how deliberate they are in the neutral game. They're using their range advantage. Because remember, they have Rascal on that Batiste to poke them out. Jinmu can only trigger his healing when he's close and he's not going to be doing damage. So they poke very slowly. That chunks out Among, and the Chengdu Hunters by that point, they have to play into the Ant Matrix, and there's just, there's really not a way they can do that. Yeah. With Among so low, all their cooldowns used on him, and his barrier low as well. All the Hunters need to do is win one fight, and they'll end this progress for the San Francisco Shock. Sinatra, though, has the grab ready to go. So does Yang Cholong. Is it gonna be? Grab comes in first for the Hunters. Now the Transcendence, Among, and the rest caught in the grab there, too. Ooh, but the Shatter comes through. EMP on top of it, and Shock struggling a little bit. That payload moving for just a moment, but the Hunters coming in with all the kills, and this looks like where it's probably going to end. For Shock's overtime push, that's a two-man Shatter. Here comes the charge, and right in the Moth. And Shock cannot sustain, it looks like, on the payload. So point A was taken. But in the end, the payload not making a ton of progress. Eventually, you would imagine. That should be about it. And the Hunters will stop the payload right there. 
And this is why the Hunters chose this composition, because eventually you're going to get EMP or grab yeah. on a, and a low time bank. You can absolutely, as we just saw, stop the payload dead in its tracks. But they'd still have to take point A and get a little bit further if they want to win. Yeah, especially if you can't even move off the payload. Those overtime situations, you're just going to have to sit there and hope your healers are out of sight and they can keep you healed up and do the EMP and that stuff. Super's like, hmm. <laughs> He's thinking about how much he hates Sombra right should, now, as usual. Should I play <laughs> Symmetra? <laughs> what do you guys think? Definitely um, not on the defense. That's a that's a cheeky way to attack on hybrid <laughs> or assault. Sure. It is fun. So what are they going to do? Shock. Are they going to go? Oh, I don't know about this. That's a, that, again, that's a low damage composition. We talked about this when the Spark played it. Playing the Sombra without the Zarya makes you very vulnerable because you just don't have enough damage to beat the sustain of an enemy triple support. But they're not gonna do it. Yep, I they do have the Zarya at least, which is good. But you're gonna see the same thing from the Chengdu Hunters and they could wow. be just as dangerous on attack. This is why Sombra is strong in low time bank scenarios. They make definitely the most dangerous of all. Tons of final blows, more than doubling his closest teammate. Yeah, they got 24 right now, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Next closest is 11. How are they gonna approach this? Looking right, going left now. I mean, they don't wanna play the, the poke game. Like, they need to get a flank to build Game up. EMP charge, or they need to close. Well, they gave a lot of bit of charge to the Zarya there, but a lot of damage, that poke damage coming in. Snatcher already up to nearly 100%. How does he build the charge on that Zarya so fast? He's doing so much damage right now. Amo just can't push up. They need to back off to heal their tank again. Yeah, you can see Rascal inching closer now to the amplification matrix. That's going to be key. A hack on the super. No shield for a little while. That's a hunter's chance. Yamato Long getting a little bit low though. They've got one tick already here on point A. Trying to capture it. They've got the nano boost on the Amon now, and Rascal's immortality field is down. Nearly has that earth shatter. Is he gonna get it? He will. Going into violet now turns for the shatter, trying to separate the San Francisco Shock team. Now Jinmu down, Super comes back with his own Earth Shatter. And that is it for that push. And here's the problem, Doa. Look at how much the Shock used. They'll have the sound barrier, but you have EMP and you have a Graviton Surge to deal with right now. What are they gonna do? Violet's still pretty far away from a Transcendence. You can't counter both of those ults yep. unless Chengdu makes a terrible error with one sound barrier. Can't let Elsa get killed. We'll see. Probably just gonna translocate over the top of them, I would imagine. We'll sneak in from behind. Shinobi doesn't even have his back right now. He gets hacked. He can't get back in. And there's a grab on top of everybody. Should be an easy point to take now. They're not gonna lose anybody. Okay, well, we know the answer. The decision was to save Sound Barrier. The call comes through from the shock. They're going to have to respawn now. Yeah, and pretty try pretty. and make it here. There will be a delay as the gate opens and one more fight in overtime to determine this. EMP is there for the Hunters. Moth, Violet has to get that trance. Elsa's here, gets detected. Close call. Amp Matrix up. They're gonna try and use that first most likely to discourage the approach. Yep. Can just toss that up on the high ground. He's gonna wait for them to drop down. This could be a pretty good EMP for Elsa. All right, watching Lucy on the lower right as well. But where's the sound barrier? It comes in for the Hunters. Rascal, unable to get the benefit there. Oh boy, the Hunters, they've done it. They've won this fight and they've won this map. They're gonna take a lead in this series as they take a victory here on Eichenball. And you don't expect Chengdu to switch to the 3-3. They nearly upset the Titans by using this strategy. Sometimes they play standard, and if you're not ready for it, it can get scary. Shock find themselves on the verge of another upset this stage. Oh, that would be pretty wild. Don't go anywhere, guys. Map number four, when we come back. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7 and by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League.
The Hunters have taken the lead. That's right. They won on Eichenwald. They're up 2-1 over the San Francisco Shock. And if the Shock don't win here on Dorado, this is going to be their second loss at this stage after completing stage two without dropping a single map. Yeah, and, Crazy, huh? and you know, I, I bet they're going to kick themselves because it's been sloppy mistakes by them. It has. Now, you couldn't have predicted that Chengdu would come out and play so clean and also be pretty aggressive about their comp swaps. I mean, they look really ready to play today. Yeah. And they're they're making changes that they typically don't make on a lot of these points. They've been playing a lot more Reinhardt 3-3 than typical. Well, when we saw them do it before, it was usually trying to work a uh, Jichi Ren into the lineup, and that wasn't working out so well. So then they kind of went back to the a and let's only play DPS style. Now, they're actually making that 3-3 work a, a little bit better, so. And worth noting, this is also probably Shock's worst map. One and three for yeah. a team that has been dominant in this league and hunters. Three and one. <laughs> wow. It, it, it's become all of a sudden a very dangerous situation for the Shock. And Chengdu, they're another team that is chasing that top 12 position. And I think this team moving forward, they they have looked sort of continuously better. And you never know, Amon just comes out with monster Reinhardt games. We saw it when he dominated Bumper True. in that match against the Titans and, and nearly caused that upset. And he is certainly having a banner day today. Starting out on the defense will be the Hunters. Young Zhao Long, you can see on the Widowmaker on board with him right now. Ah, so that's when we're going visible. Sinatra can be a bit of a threat for him to have to deal with. As shocks start to push, he's going to go with the Sober Comp again. Trying to put a little bit of pressure onto the defenders under the high ground. Amon comes out onto Super. Super taking a lot of damage. He's going to Widowmaker shot as well. You can see Choya Bin trying to shake things up on the high ground. Gets the kill on Akio, but Super down. Have they given them too much? Where's that res? I think uh, actually Veltal got bumped out of the res by the diva. Oh, there goes Moth. So the Hunter's just brawling this one out. Dragon Strike comes through for Jinmu now. And there goes Rascal. That payload, though, is still moving. Sinatra getting it a few more meters, at least. So casual 44-second Dragon Strike for Jinmu. Wow. As he jumps damage into the tank line, Violent has to use the Transcendence just to stay alive, but the headshots keep coming in for I mean, the Hunters. I, I love this. You just put the minefield on top of the payload, and you're like, all right, go, go ahead, push it. <laughs> Good luck. You know, one of the Shock's big oh. problems is that they don't have another player in their starting roster who can play the Zarya. Obviously, Sinatra exceptional, or the Sombra, so you end up not being able to play both of them at the same time. Payload's still moving, by the way. The Hunters are doing all this yes. fancy stuff, but they're not actually really stopping the Payload from making progress. I mean, Jinmu is here trying to stop the tanks from getting back to the point. Yeah. And he's going to be successful, but at the same time, Evo uh -oh. and Amung are dead, and Choi oh. Yopin barely <laughs> survives this back. So, it was, yeah. a, it was a cute play from the Hunters, but... Ultimately, they're going to get staggered and have a questionable attack right here. Yeah, one more fight. We'll see if Sinatra can, yeah, use that EMP. It's basically everybody on that point right now. Dragon Strike comes through, but it's only a bit of a delay. 
All right, that's okay. So you've been with the self-destruct just to create a little bit of space. Also out of the mech. And it's about time for Lodgers to give up point A. Yeah, it's about it. So at the end of the day, they slowed the shock down, but not as much as I think you would have wanted to. No, and, and like you said, though, because the payload was still moving, the shock were playing the objective. So they could ignore the fact that the Mercy and the Hanzo were basically trying to spawn camp their tank line. Yeah. Huh. And just play the payload instead. That's what the shock too. I think that's absolutely the right call. And now they can continue pressing forward. Hunter's regrouping up on the high ground. Yang Long is pretty close to an EMP, so they're going to have that at least if they want to try to stop the payload. Back on the synopsis. Oh, he got, the, uh, got it with the translocator, but Moth, not so lucky. Amon takes him down. All right. Rascal down as well to the bio grenade. So just the picks coming through for the Chengdu Hunters. They're not really needing to use any uh, ults at all yet. Yeah, the fact they save EMP, huge. Oh Yang yeah. Long got it in the middle of that fight, but Abung again making the play that gets the pick off onto Moth, and then they translate that into a team fight win. They are, three of them are heading onto the high ground right now. They took them a long time to set up, so they've been waiting on Abung to delay. They're set up now. All right, there's the EMP. Oh. Are we gonna see the bio grenade come in maybe too? We'll see, well, it doesn't matter. The kills are happening either way. Sinatra gets slept, and now the focus goes on to Choya Bin. There's the DMEC, and Sinatra wakes up to a translocation that back to safety. Show you been not so lucky. Can't be taken along for the ride by Sombra, apparently. And the payload stops. Well, Shock at least have their own EMP for the start of this fight. They're probably gonna use this, I would imagine. They may cons be considering a swap. They're gonna have to get through the minefield though first. That's the thing, you just put the minefield on the payload again. And... All right, there we go, right in the back of that one. Oh, he slams the... Top area instead of the payload, though. All right, hack on the Young Jia Long, and now the EMP comes in from Sinatra to try to push the Hunters back, and looks like Young Jia Long, and not so lucky, gets EMP, doesn't get out. Super's got the Primal Rage if he needs it, but see if he goes ahead and tries to use it. I don't know if he really needs it here. Huh? He's gonna use it anyway. Had people in the room, so why not? That payload is still moving. Yeah, they got the hack onto Among, and they know they sure. can continue to get staggers this way. So go ahead and try and just finish out point B if you can. Spawn for Among though. He's playing Wrecking Ball. He can get back quickly. It means Chengdu will have another defense here. Young Jia Long close to another EMP. They might have another fight. Wait if they can land a good ultimate here. Slam comes in. Keo down Violet. Always finding those big picks on the Zenyatta. Such a specialist at getting those long range picks. Elsa manages to avoid the self destruct. Gets D mech anyway, though. That is so important for the shock. If they don't win that fight, if Violet doesn't get that pick and the EMP happens and they have to run back with only a minute and a half, that could have held them at the end of B. So crucial, crucial elimination for Violet. Yep. It's one of the things that uh, has been one of the greatest assets for the shock is to have a Zenyatta player like that that's consistently finding those long range kills. The MP on both sides now coming in. Violet down immediately. Not much defense against that if you're the Zenyatta. All right, Sound Fury comes in. Keeps some of the hunters up. Shock just trying to back away. They've got the minefield to contend with. And Super sleeping in front of the payload. Might not be able to escape. He can't. So the hunters do get a stall on the payload now. Two minutes remaining for the Shock. Chengdu had a good read on the ultimates right there because you'll notice that they went after Violet. Sinatra went over after the biggest group of Chengdu Hunters players. Oh man, man that's, that's a, a big D mech on a Choya in there. Yeah, that's that's definitely gonna hurt them quite a bit. They're just gonna push forward with it. I mean, he's already halfway to the call mech again, but here comes the self-destructs. Gets Choya in, he couldn't get back in the mech. Avon gets hacked. Trying to walk back to his team. Jin Mu down, so the shock. Not gonna take this fight. Flying down, gonna go and pop that Primal Rage for Super. And even though he's hit with the Bio Grenade, still getting the damage done. Wow, that poor hamster. That's nice. brutal. That was a great use of Primal Rage. Even when they were a player down, San Francisco Shock able to divide the members of the Chengdu Hunters up. Now, the Chengdu Hunters will switch over to the 3-2-1 composition. Okay. Good idea, Sinatra here. With an EMP, Chengdu trying to build up their own on YXL. Yep. It's not for getting hit a couple times, but should be okay. Here comes the EMP. It's only Among and Jinmu though, but Among down, so it is successful. Gets the main tank anyway. They lose Rascal in the process. 
So Vince got that self-destructed. Right now, the Hunter just trying to hold on. Four-man EMP as they take out Violet right away. Choi Vince should be getting D-Max. Here he is. And also with enough damage that they should be able to push the shock off the payload for now. And we're down to just 40 seconds remaining for San Francisco. And another oh, stagger on a Choi Hyobin right now. That means the shock are going to have one attack. Stun, boop, evil tall. Wow. Punches him in the face. <laughs> and Sinatra switches to Zarya now. So it's a late swap to Ryan 3-3 for the shock. Oh, man. They're going to have to play into the nano boost. Elsa will get the Graviton Surge, most likely. They're, they'll be super reliant on Moth and Violet's support ults coming online. Yeah, I was going to say, it's really going to be the support ultimates that have to carry the fight here for the San Francisco Shock. Napunk does get stunned to start things off, but the rally is there, super down. Oh, no, main tank missing for the San Francisco Shock. Any back cap opportunities? It's tough to see. Toyo Bit looking for a big self-destruct, but he can't find it this time. And with that sound barrier, the Hunters stay on top of this payload. Moth just trying to keep things alive as he's ducking in and out of that range here. Now the sound barrier comes in for the Hunters. Big hack, though. Back onto the shock again, and nothing to stop that Earth Shatter from coming in from Amog. And that is where the payload will stop for San Francisco. They don't get it done. And the door is open now for the Hunters to take this series. Another solid job by Keo. So what happens is the rest of the Shock are trying to force their way in through that upper hallway. Choi Hyobin goes back to touch the cart. And so they realize, let's just rush him with Bionade. Yep. And there's no healing for the Transcendence. Ends up being a disaster for the Shock because they can't eat the Bionade. But Keo coming up with the play. Great realization, instant Shock call. Chengdu Under's on their A game today. Yeah, they really are. It's one of the best matches we've seen them play. And uh, it's interesting to see how it really doesn't take that much. You know, the Shock still playing well, but playing playing a little bit sloppy today. And it, like I said, it doesn't take much to uh, drop to the point where the Hunters can beat you. They, they are always just right on the outside of being consistent against some of these better teams in the league. And, Ready. Shock may be uh, giving him one of those big upset wins. I, you could just never underestimate the Hunters. That's yep. that's the thing. And because you, you just don't know what they're going to do. You know, if you had told me that they would be playing this much 3-2-1 coming in today or 3-3, three, three, I, I would have said it was a very strange idea. But they've been using the multi-DPS comps on the points where it works and then been assertive about switching when they feel it will benefit them. and. On the good days, the Hunters can keep up in 3-3 with the best of them. They're more variable, for sure. They're probably the most variable 3-3 team in the league. I mean, Amog is also putting on one of the performances of his career right now, too. He's had a, he's had a great day on both the Wrecking Ball and the Reinhardt. I think the other problem is, though, that we're seeing real problems with the current flexibility of the Shock roster when it comes to mirroring the 3-2-1 with the Sombra. That's not something that they are able to do comfortably with these six players, at least. It's starting to seem that way, and I think it goes back to what you were talking about, where they really need somebody to play that, uh, that Zarya if Sinatra's going to be the one on the Sombra. And, you know, there's not really a need anymore to switch back and forth between D.Va and Sombra in the game. A lot of teams are just... Playing. Like, look at what the NYXL is doing. Yeah. They're just playing Sabiobi on the Sombra, and it's working for them. So with the depth of the bench, the Shock have, surely you think Striker or Architect could come in. You think so. Halo grounding the corner here. Shock deciding to defend in the choke. Go off the wood. See, Violet pretty close to his transcendence here. Yo, close to that nano boost. But supports with ultimates. Nice. At the ready in just a moment here. Rascal going after the Veltal. Dangerous moment for that Lucio. You can't you can't give Rascal those opportunities. He's gonna find those headshots. You know, in general, I'm not a fan of the Batiste 3-3 when you're playing against Sombra. The immortality field can be cleared by EMP. You get hacked too. Yeah, you don't have to stun. Oh, then sometimes you just shoot people through the amplification matrix. Sometimes you get a flank yeah. with the amp matrix and you just shut them down, yes. Yeah, there you go. Smooth triple kill for Rascal. Rascal just murders everyone. That was sick. Yep. That's what he does, man. But you don't have the point is you don't have the best shutdown onto the Sombra. And it's harder to check for as well because these days it's mostly the Brigida's job to try and find the Sombra player rather than the D.Va. Sure. Hey, Velto. Again, you're going to be taking so much damage from this Batiste from Rascal. It's crazy. 
Super separated from the rest of his team. Gets his Aria shield just in time. I feel like they had to use a grab just to keep Super alive, but now the Shatter comes in. That, that is the kind of play the Shock needed. Now it's starting to get a little bit worrisome for the Hunters. They have not made much progress here on point A yet. Yeah, EMP just does nothing because the Shock rushed them yeah. before the EMP has a chance to be used effectively. They already have laid the Graviton Surge down, which also nullifies the Nano Boost from the Chengdu Hunters. So now, San Francisco Shock, they are playing for the full hold and a map five. Yep, pretty much. Yang Zhaolong has the grab. They've got the Shatter, too. So they've got a few tools to use it, maybe with the Sound Barrier. There's a grab used. All right, Sound Barrier comes in. Amplification Matrix. Now for Rascal, you get all that extra healing through there, too. He likes the damage, but the healing's fine, too. But now the Hunter, oh, Joy a bit again! Bailing his team out with the 2K. Self-destruct. Does get D-Mech though, so there's still an opening here on a, con a, a dex the next push here for the Chengdu Hunters to take this. Gonna save him with the Immortality Guild, trying to get him enough time. He gets to get his mech back. That is huge. Not enough damage from the Hunters to take out that Immortality Field before it's too late to keep the push going too. And Rascal, really the hero of this defense. Yeah, Rascal and Choyo Bin, I'd say, you know, how long, how often do we see him get those self-destructs and clutch moments and Keo? Just gets caught in the crossfire, couldn't keep up with his team. And got left behind, and that's an easy kill for Shock. And I think the Hunters might get held right here. And uh, looks in increasingly likely. Graviton's here for Sinatra, but he's going to get stunned. Well, Amon with like the 50 foot drop in Shatter, man. He got knocked way up in the air during the animation. And Shock may not have been expecting him to come down with that. Grab use, and Rascal again with two kills. Firing through that amplification matrix, making another 3K. Absolutely insane. He's gonna get another one. Yep, that's a 4K for Rascal. On the Batista, finish it up, that's it. What a way to end that map, and what a way to send us to a map five. Uh, Elsa couldn't get the EMP off. Looks like he died in the animation there at the very end, but Rascal set up with the amp matrix for the Graviton. Excellent teamwork. They created crossfires, and that gets them the win. Hey, winning in the clutch, that's what it takes. We're going to the fifth and final map right after this.
San Francisco Shock tie things up, and we're going to map number five. Oasis will be our tiebreaker control map to decide who takes this series. And uh, if you go way back, remember, guess who won that control map earlier in the series, Monty? It was, in fact, the Chengdu Hunters. It was indeed. And so, Shock might be sweating a little bit. They've certainly been in some high pressure games this season in the Overwatch League. They've come away with victory, they've come away with defeat, and even though this is just a regular season match, if you have a stage where you go from undefeated to losing to Houston, losing to Chengdu, concerns begin to arise. Eh, I mean, that's true. I guess for the shock, they're so they're still very far away from taking the number one seed away sure. from the Vancouver Titans for the overall season playoffs. So you're not really worried about their playoff spot, but you yeah. are worried about their ability to maybe to maybe adapt to what the other teams are doing right now. Yeah, they, they do seem to have fallen behind the meta in certain ways. And a little bit. Violet has been kind of concerning on the Moira tonight, and they're still going for it. Hmm. All right. Well, the shock are six and one. On this map overall, Hunters, just three and two, as you saw on your screen there. And are we actually going to see the soldier for Young Xiao Long? I would not be surprised. It is city center. You do see the soldier quite a bit on this point. Triple DPS ball, the yep. Chengdu special. Sinatra going to be coordinating with Super and Choi Hyobin here to try and take out some of those squishy DPSs. Everybody on the bounty Ooh. elevator. Chasing him on the jump pad. Elsa chased down, gets hacked, gets taken out. Rascal finishing that one. Yang Xiaolong on the run. He's running. Healing spry. <laughs> How did Jinbu oh, keep hack. killing Violet? Uh, Jinbu gets hacked here. He gets two kills before he goes down, though. But Sinatra doing so much damage. Halfway to an EMP already, and that's a kill on your belt all. Sinatra's like, all right, put the carry pants on. <laughs> that's Super. the job done here. Putting the napping pants on. Does I guess so. <laughs> the pajama <laughs> pants? <laughs> does end up getting sleep darted there, but San Francisco still in. Looks like they will be in control of the point. Hack onto Among, And that will be the Chengdu Hunters needing to fall back and regroup right now. Sinatra trying to carry with his EMP. Yang Zhao Long will not be sprinting anywhere for a bit. Nope. Feeling normal. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not feeling spry after getting hacked. I mean, it's Imagine if Sombra could hack your legs hey, like that. I don't know. <laughs> I can't run anymore. <laughs> well, he's probably got those robo legs, you know? <laughs> Here comes Sinatra, and there's an the EMP on the four members of the Hunters. Pimeltal trying to remain inconspicuous in the corner, but not being successful. Oh, Jinmu sends a rocket Sinatra's way. Super, he's going airborne, he's going after the far He's chasing, he wants shades of Miro. Here he comes, he's pushing for another one. That's right, and oh, he gets the kill, walk over the car. It's close. Somewhere Miro is just slow clapping. He's like, my man. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the point, Yang Xiaolong kills everybody with back binder, so. Yeah, all right, that was a cool place, but, but your team lost the fight, so. Well, you know. Uh, uh, you know it, wasn't, it was unnecessary. Apples to oranges, really. Shoot <laughs> <laughs> me with the uh, barrage now, too. I still enjoyed it, Super. Thank you. Thank Jin you for entertaining us. Yeah, the Jinmu decoy ended up working nicely. That's right. We're the Chengdu Hunters. Took him quite a long time to die. It's like a Labrador chasing after it. Jinmu, oh boy! He's tried to go alive. for the barrage, but he lived! Choyo Bin went right up there and self-destructed, so the mech didn't really stay in position to kill him off. Yang Zhaolong down. Moth punching him into the afterlife there for the moment. For the moment. You only get punched in the afterlife Momentary. temporarily. That's right. It's Overwatch. All right. Yuan comes in. There's a hack onto a bunch of members of Chengdu. Kyo did get the nano boost off just in time, but mostly they're just making play safe. But now the EMP from Elsa onto Shock. Elsa down, though. And, you, and Violet, or Yveltal, no, it is Violet. Taking out Young Long in the end, scraping him with those long fingernails. It's not look comfortable. It looks like Shock. Trying to take the point back, but another barrage coming in! And Moth down! And it's a three versus what three, Doa! This? But now Amog is still here, and the, the percent is still ticking up. It's a four versus two on the point, but here comes Super with Primal Raid. Oh, and here comes Young Long on the Doom Fist! Violet down, and it's still, at the end of the day, the control percent building, and Super in traffic! <laughs> Punched into a car! <laughs>
<laughs> How do you claim that on your insurance? Well, I was just driving down the road and this dude with a huge metal arm punched a space gorilla into my car. Hey, this is one of the first times we've seen Reaper use the, uh, the buff version of Shadow's Death. Hey, then what do you know? It worked out pretty well. All right, there's a fade and the hacks come in. The brawl has just never ended in this round. Among down again. Elsa getting close to the EMP. Young Jao Long getting close to the Meteor Strike, meanwhile. Meltal down. Sinatra hacking anyone he gets his hands on. Jibu's still alive on the Reaper. And he's still doing some damage. He needs to die, though. They've got a reset. Well, they got the 99%. Yeah. All right. Whoa. They should have oh, saved that boy. nano boost. There was not really a world where Young Jao Long was going to be able to carry that fight hard enough on a nano boosted Doomfist. So that's one fewer tool the Chengdu Hunters will have. Yep. That said, they still have EMP. And they have Minefield. Minefield EMP is a very powerful old combo. Yep. Got the Meteor Strike, too. Don't disregard that Doomfist ultimate. He's going in. And he's coming right back down again. All right, nobody can move away from the Meteor Strike. Doesn't well, matter. It's funneling, well, he's, funneling, he's funneling them into his team. That's what I was trying to say there. They bumped down, though, so it didn't work out like they were hoping. Oh boy, it looks like now this is going to be it for Chengdu. They fought valiantly, but Sinatra's there. Everybody EMP, Choi Yobin! Choi Yobin following up on the EMP with the self-destruct. I don't think anybody's getting there to contest this one. 98-99, Amung barely gets their attack taken down immediately. Elsa tries his luck to keep things alive, and Doomfist comes in. And then exit very quickly. That should be about it for the first point here. What an Whoa. insane, insane... Ballroom brawl that was, but the <laughs> shot come out on top. That was so close. If that EMP is slightly better for the Chengdu Hunters, they're going to take that point. Yeah. They did a good job of keeping Violet alive, the shock using the armor pack so that the Doomfist couldn't quite kill them fast enough. Really, really close. And now we're headed to Gardens. That was one of the most entertaining rounds of Overwatch I think I've ever seen. There was just so much <laughs> crazy, insane stuff happening in that one. It's been a it's been a weird match, that's for <laughs> sure. And it's capped off by the pinnacle of weirdness. You know, I love the Chunk New Hunters. That's just what it comes down to, man. They always they always make the game weird in the best way. <laughs> they really do. They show up, they make it weird. Elsa. This time, part of a not so weird composition. Going for the 3 2 1 again. Violet's going to swap off. Yeah. I think this is smart. They, they need to stop playing this Moira. It really hasn't done them very many favors. Now they're just going to switch the Rhyme 3 3. They will get back in time to contest this point. So, no harm done. Agree with the shock. Yep. Going back to their staple. All right. And Chunky doesn't have anyone on the point to start that control meter building. A lot of damage going through that hallway, and Moth, the first victim there. Man, they're just throwing everything they've got down the hallway, and Shock unable to handle that one. Goodbye, Super. He's got the Zarya shield, but he's not going to last much longer. Among with the easy kill there, and San Francisco taking the uh, the rough path to the point there. Yeah, Moth was on the side trying to get a boob, and they turned on him. Managed to get the elimination, also a nice hack, and they're, they're just going to continue pushing this as far as they can. Well, yeah, why not? Show you a bit nearly team back there, and the Shatter comes in. Rascal knocked down, and they've got the rally on the Chengdu side now to match this and keep being aggressive. Well, Shock used their rally, thought they might be able to take advantage of the Hunters, but as they're pursuing, Rascal gets in front, gets shattered. And that's it. I don't think they thought Among had the shatter up yet, would be my guess. Yeah, I mean, he was tricky about it, too. He backed off a little bit, and then he turned and did it. Kind of playing like he didn't have it, but oh, he man. had it the entire time. Here comes the EMB from Elsa, looking for a good opportunity to use that. Five Ooh. one, four people emp there, but the Transcendence used by Violet just in time. Grabs come in on both sides now. Violet, really low. They can't keep him alive. Luckily for the Hunters, they were able to finish Violet off, and now that's a 5v6. I don't think the Shock want to take it. Yeah, the crucial part was Super had to back off because he was bionated, so he couldn't join in that fight. The EMP ends up getting value, even though we don't see the eliminations, because it at least accrues more percent. Yeah. Evil All right, tall. Super, 360 Earth Shatter, come on high. Do it, man. Here's your opportunity. We're counting on you. All right, doesn't go for it. Oh, and he's down! Oh, they were so ready for him to drop the Hunters. 
had that sound barrier built up, but Shocker going to come back into this fight with a good amount of ultimates. Yeah, but they've been building up another ult here for Elsa. Look at that, 80% now. Uh, these exit kills, too. I mean, you're over 90% How do you get to the, the point? Hunters. How do you get to the point right now, Doa? Send the Lucio Bob. to back cap. Yep. That's but what you do. They're going to clean up the spawn in the meantime. They can just... Uh, those back cap, though. All right, they got, they got Elsa there. All right, he's gonna stop. There's a hack on the boss. Rascal down. It's a 65 again. Violet with the transcendence just to try to get his team over there. They're gonna get the kill into Amug. The retreat for the hunters not so good as they lose their main tank here. Oh, and perfect the shock, sound barrier. The shock are not done yet, man. Oh, but the hack comes in and clears it right out again. Elsa there with the EMP. Can they finish the fight without Amug though? He's got to get back there. And Oguz now onto Yang Chao Long. He's going to be building that Graviton pretty darn quick. Sinatra's going to drop the grab. Yeah, Sinatra doing a lot of damage here, too. Yang Chao Long down, who somehow manages to avoid the charge. Super and Violet down, and the Hunters, Rascal, unless he's going to 1v3 here, along with Moth. I don't think they're going to be able to do it. Jin Mu back on the Doomfist again. All right, they've got three players on the point, each team right now. Can they hit some good shots here with the Doomfist? Jinmu so low has to back off. He might as well be dead, man. He's out of the fight either way. Shock nearly have it flipped. And it looks like they will get the job done here. Yeah, they get the point flipped. And Chengdu Hunters, now they're going to have to be the attackers. I mean, Chengdu should just Ooh. switch back to the 3-2-1 comp immediately. They've got 100% yeah. to go here. There's no reason to stay on this when you almost have the EMP. You're halfway to a grab. That's what they're going to do. So quick swap back once again. All right, Shock holding on. Chengdu Hunters on the verge, though, of tying up this final tiebreaker map. If they can win one more fight. Off the back of maybe Elsa's EMP. So they're getting, they're, they have this window where there aren't support alts. So here comes Elsa. Yep. Can they get enough damage onto the high ground? That's the issue, is they have to force the shock to drop. It's being so tricky. That's the translocate out. Yeah, this is giving them time to get the support ult. Violet gets the ult up now. Again, he's just waiting for them to drop, though. You know? There we go. There's the EMP. Oh, it's super down. He got hit with everything there. Sombrero for the Hunters. They are not messing around in this fight. They want to win it. They want to win it hard. Yang Zhao Long has that grab, too. They're going to flip it into OT. The bar fading, and there's not a lot of players in the shock left on this one. Sinatra goes down to the grab. You've all told the final blow there. Rascal comes in with the rally. No kills for Choi Hobin this time. And it looks like they've got this wrapped up. Shock trying to hold on, but. I think that's going to be it for this round. I think the Hunters are going to tie up Oasis. They will. Oh, boy, Noah. It's coming down to the last point on Oasis. But it's going to be University. And yeah. you would think the Shock would have an advantage with Ryan 3-3 on this point. That's the thing. It's university a... is, yeah, it's it's basically just like welcome to the Coliseum, right? Come in our Ryan 3-3. Yeah, it's, it's a, I think it's a bit harder to play Sombra on this point because of how close quarters everything tends to be. Yep. Uh, can get around behind the formation, though, and try and harass. And certainly Chengdu, they've had that advantage. They're going to give it a shot. San Francisco, back to the standard. Ryan 3-3. Three, three. For the win here. Everything on the line in this match, on the final point. What a huge upset it would be for the Hunters to get this win over the Shock. What a big moment for them in their season so far. See what they can do. Elsa looking for hacks. He finds one onto Super. No shield. And that means Sinatra's down. Unprotected by that Reinhardt. They hacked Super, and then they got the stun onto Sinatra. Wow. So good move there from the Hunters, identifying what they were going to do right at the start. And Elsa able to complete the hack. That is massive. Yeah, I mean, he just stands there behind the shield. They just walk him forward, and you can't interrupt that hack then. Here we go, Sinatra on the point right now. They're trying to focus down Ama. Shoyobin, though, the one in a lot of trouble, gets by the Reinhardt shield at the last moment. Gets hacked, though. Can they de-mech him? No, not quite. Jinmu down instead. They dove in onto that D.Va. Finally get the D-mech now, but is it too late? Ama narrowly avoids falling into the pit here. Shatter for Amon gets blocked completely. Gets and by the shield bash. He's into the pit now. Choyo bit down. Yo uses that nano boost. 
but Shock, despite that EMP, super swinging, but Yang Zhao Long barely had enough health to live. He had the shield and he got the kills through his grab. Wow, so many tight, tight fights happening here. They turned it with the EMP and then the grab, but Chengdu had to use everything to accomplish that. It was a really nice knockdown. On to Among, who had the nano boost onto him into the middle, and that caused Chengdu to have to commit more ultimate. So now Shock coming back. They're going to have the Graviton Surge. They'll have two support ultimates very soon. This should be the fight where they can turn it around and claim the point. Super just biding his time, waiting for it. There's the sound barrier. Where's the shatter? Is it going to get used? He's going for it. He finds Among. Super with a big play for San Francisco here. Gets a 65, narrowly avoids again, falling into the pit. And San Francisco holding on there. They may not have wanted to use that Transcendence. They would have liked to have avoided using that ultimate because in the meantime, Elsa and Yang Long did enough damage in that fight to nearly get their ults back online. Yep. So Chengdu have a chance to just flip it right back again. Yeah, Kyo again with the Nano Boost too. So he can use that to help Yang Long get his grab a little bit quicker. Use it to help Among just walk in and kill people, I suppose, too. Here comes the EMP. Elsa using it. Gets the tanks. Choyo Bin knocked down as well. And super down. They lost Jinmu, too. Oh, man. Kills coming out on both sides. Choyo Bin so low. But Sinatra, the one that's going to be doing tons of damage here. But Violet caught by the Earth Shatter. And Sinatra down. Elsa finds the kill. And the uh -oh. Hunters will flip it back. Among alive somehow with no HP. Chengdu. How did he live? Oh man, Elsa's charging these EMPs so fast too. Already, already halfway to another. This 90%. is looking desperate for the shock. Desperate. 90%, man. They need Choi Bin to come up with another miracle self-destruct now. He's had a couple really good ones in this round. There's a rally for Attack. Rascal. Among in trouble here. Took a lot of damage. But there's the shatter from Super Among down. And Sinatra gets a kill into Jinmu as well. Super low health, but he's still alive for the moment. Young Zhao Long powering up a little bit, but he's going to get chased down and taken out. They charged up Violet. They let Violet get the elimination onto Young Zhao Long to get the trance because they know the EMP is up. That might actually change it back for the shock. They had to get the transcendence, and now they have to hide Violet. That was a really good call from the shock to make sure the trance would be online for this fight. I think if you're the hunters, you have to just poke a little bit, and then go for one big apocalyptic fight. We'll see, it's gonna be the EMP. Oh, they caught Violet! They caught Violet the EMP! Elsa, the hero, gets him, it's 99%, and they're gonna be able to flip it back. Yeah. Rascal getting hacked here, you can see Elsa just desperate to try to do it, and can they deny Elsa? Can they deny the shock? Here comes Shoya Bin and Moth, everybody doing what they can. Self-destruct, the shields are there though. Rascal down, can they finish off Choyo Bin? They couldn't before he got in his mech again, and now he's got the Zarya shield. That said, the grab coming in, and they're all trapped they're off the, the point. point. Can they get there? Can they get back on? They can, but the sound barrier is there. The Hunters, I think they they're might gonna have do done it. it. They're they gonna might do have done it. it. Might have, we'll see. <laughs> there we go, overtime taking, and the Hunters, they get the kill, and they will be the second team to take down the Shock in Stage 3. Wow. Chengdu Hunters coming in with their A game tonight, playing some of the best Overwatch we've seen from them as a team. And the Shock, they, they can't adapt to this game. The Shock have another tough week match this weekend against London. I mean, Shock is a look on everybody's face right now, man. Hunters coming to play today, and it was about as tight of a match as we have ever seen in the league. But Chengdu comes out on top today. Wow, Chengdu looks confident. They really do. And their Sombro 3-2-1. That's a, that's a new dimension to Chengdu that we really haven't seen. I mean, hey, if you use it to uh, beat the Shock, that's, uh, that's definitely going to boost the confidence a bit more. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Well, oh. uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say about that. That is quite I'm the stunned. result. I'm stunned, man. Let's take a break and uh, give Emily a chance to interview Among down the floor. Thank you, guys, and congrats to the Chengdu Hunters on an impressive win. Good job, you guys. That was very well deserved. Now, Among, those were some amazing plays on Reinhardt. So, how did you outperform Super's Reinhardt? 那么今天首先恭喜你们，这是个非常激烈的一个比赛。那你觉得你是怎么胜过 Super的大锤呢？嗯，我的队友给了我很多帮助吧，包括我进鸟，嗯，安娜睡眠之人，还有黑影的黑
I received a lot of support from my teammates, or for example, Anna and Sombra, so without them, I wouldn't have done as well. Now, Chengdu still has a chance on making the stage three playoffs, but first you guys have to go through Seoul. So how do you plan to take Seoul down? We're going to try our best, and we're going to try our best in every single match. Thank you, Amon. That's all I have for you guys. Back to you guys. Thank you, Emily. And wow, the best for the Hunters, certainly good enough to get them into 11th place in the season standings overall. They are now in for that uh, play-in at the end of stage four. Another chance to get to the overall playoffs. So that's where you want to be. You want to at least be in the top 12, and the Hunters are there now. And you really can't discount how big that win is because if you can Huge. steal those Huge. wins against the top teams, that just really helps you get and stay in that top 12 and at least show that you have a fighting shot against the league's best in the overall playoffs. Well, we got to crown our player of the match brought to you by Omen by HP. Who else could it be but the one, the only Among? That's right. Stellar day on the Reinhardt. Incredible day as usual on the uh, Wrecking Ball as well. But look at this, man. Look at that Earth Shatter, and that resulted in a 6K. I mean, I know, Choyo Bin's <laughs> mini diva form is taken out by somebody else, but I don't count that. He killed the mech, that's the real thing. That is the real thing. And yeah, that's the real diva. I, I also think Keo had a really good day today, Definitely so did. I think a bit hard, but Amon coming out, showing that when he peeks on Reinhardt, he can peek very hard. I think like uh, transcending the, the Yota <laughs> chat is a the infinite chat now, basically. Well, good stuff and a big win for the Chengdu Hunters. So congratulations to them. Wow, what a, what a day of Overwatch that was. Only three matches today, but man, we got some really good ones. You and I got to get some great series today. I, I feel so fortunate. And you guys should too for watching. And thank you for doing that. But don't go anywhere yet because we've got the Watchpoint post show coming up. Don't miss it. That's it for the games. Stick around for Watchpoint. Thanks for watching. The Overwatch League is brought to you by Toyota, official North American partner of the Overwatch League. Toyota, let's go places. Hey, man, what's up? You need anything for today? Nah, man, I think I'm set. Big day today, man? Yeah, huge. Let's play some Overwatch.